Let's go. Welcome back. Friday night. Hope you're having a lovely Friday night. I'm going to pull up a chessboard and play some five minute blitz. Let's. Well, let's go. Took longer than usual. Okay, e4, e5, best fight test. You know me. Okay, and we have a King's Gambit. And you know I love playing the Falk Beer Counter Gambit against it. This you don't see too often. I guess the idea is pawn takes, but queen takes. Um, yeah, usually a pawn is always exchanged. Oh, so this is refreshing. I like it. I'm gonna grab the pawn. Okay, grabbing the queen. It's a little loose. A little loosey goosey. Hitting this knight. Lovely. Lovely knights. Um, yeah, I'd like to castle as soon as I can, so I'm gonna castle queen side. Okay, uh, queen's coming here. Do have to watch a sensitive F7, but right now there's no pressure on it, other than the bishop. Knight's not coming in, but we may see a, may see a check. Um, here, with the idea of still being able to castle. Yup. Bishop is defended. Okay. Uh, actually, no, this. That way, Rook can come here. But for the moment, Bishop is loose. Okay, Queen coming in. Hmm. Yeah, what to play here? Okay, I'm gonna grab here. Imagine rook takes, because I think my opponent wants to keep this coordination here. Let's have me think. Time is about even. Might as well take with the rook and prepare him to double. Let's go. Um, let's just do anything. You don't have much. Yeah, this is just a move. It improves the rook. It also goes after the bishop. And maybe have some coordination here. Knight defends a square. The bishop defends a square. Defending it, hitting it with three pieces. Let's go. Uh, but piece count is even. Pawn count is even. Although my opponent has four pawns on the queen side, I have three. And I have three on the king side, my opponent has two. Both have. My opponent has a bishop pair. I just have the dark square bishop. And a knight pair. Going after this mate. So you can't defend this way. I suppose the only thing you can do is block it with the rook. Let's go, defending the square. But you can't quite trap the bishop. Not yet. Bishop may take here, and then the queen has a square here. So if bishop takes, I have to defend this square. I think just rook comes here.
Rook is not active. Rook can definitely get active. Everyone's thinking about it. Funny it takes so much time though. Okay, Bishop comes out. Grabbing here is the rook gets a semi open A file to work with. Um, I think I can reroute the bishop here, and this hits the bishop twice. Let's go. Now would be a good time to bring this rook into the game. No. Here I can go after the queen. Removing here. Knight takes. Knight takes. Um, this could be a move. It hits the rook and the bish. But again, I hesitate to take this bish. It debates the rook. I think something like this would be good now for my opponent because this rook is not defended. But for the moment, you have to move the queen. Where is the queen going? Queen is. Queen could come here. I don't see what this does. Okay. Yeah, I have to move the knight. Where's the knight going? I guess the knight's just coming here. If bishop takes, bishop takes. Oh, we're moving here. is now under a minute. Um, nope. Oh yeah, I did talk about this, didn't I? But then bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes. No, bishop doesn't take. It's a pin here. You don't take here because rook takes. No, this doesn't work. Is now in the red zone, finally activating their second rook, doubling on the f file. However, when you double your rooks, you usually don't want your queen in front, you want the queen at the back. If you were to align all three, mm, I can just grab here. Pawn takes, rook takes. Should be good. We're moving here. Queen's not going to take this. This is defended. Light square bishop isn't doing too much. Okay. Tapping aside is usually the way to go. Also push this pawn. Perhaps that would weaken it would weaken the b6 square if you push this pawn. Also defend this way, laterally. So these are probably the two best candidate moves. I have a lot of time, I can think about it. Perhaps this is good because it allows the queen to swing over for check if needed. What are the cons of this? The problem is, this hits the queen, but the rook has no real future here, so I'm just going to step the king aside. 52 seconds left. Now grabbing the seventh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um... They're dropping the rook back. No back rank issues. Queen may be coming here. Um, yeah, this is the white hidden queen. Queen of my dreams. Check. I maybe got him. So an endgame with almost a symmetrical pawn structure. However, I have one extra pawn. Two extra pawns now. And, uh, what's this? This doesn't work. 
Okay, that was just a desperation move. Let's go. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Cheers.